Welcome to Red V TV, supported by A Star Recruitment for the 2022 season. As we continue our build up to the new campaign, it's 29 days to go. And that can mean only one thing, Kevin. It's Danny Hill. No one would realise we'd done that five times, Kev. <laughs> so it is, it's sure. Danny Hill. Um, and as you can see in the corner, Kev, Danny will be proudly sponsored by RedV.net for the 2022 season. You know what, Dave? I'm absolutely made up that we can do that. Uh, absolutely made up. I think it shows support to Danny himself, support to the club. Um, I, I think it's fantastic that we've been able to uh, sponsor him for this season. It is. And do you know what? It's not us, Kev. It is redv.net, the fans group. Um, we've been around for nearly 20 years now. Um, and we're, we're there because of the fans. We, we, what, we do everything on here for fans' enjoyment, um, to bring fans together. And it's thanks to, to fans on, on the forum, on our social media channels, and also people who watch us on Red VTV. Um, who have grouped together to, for us to be able to do this. So this is a, a real group collective effort. Yeah, and it's got to be a thank you to, to those people who've, who've kind of supported us in doing this. Um, if anybody else wants to get involved, I'm sure if they kind of get onto our social media, at redv.net on Twitter or on Facebook, come and find us and drop us a message or a, a, a little note. Um, if they want to get involved, we can send them some details. But it's a big thanks to those who've already kind of stepped up and and supported supported us through the years and then shown their support in this sponsorship as well. Yeah, and I, I think that's what it is. Obviously, this is a chance for, for us to, to, to start pulling back into the club, just as you've said, Kevin. Obviously, support support one of our, our young players who, who are up and coming and, and hopefully a star of the future. But it, it, it's money into the club, isn't it, as well? Yeah, that's it. Listen, we buy our memberships, we buy our merchandise, but this is just something a little bit different for us, isn't it? Um, it it's it's something a little bit more, a little bit more tangible to kind of really show that our support, how we can, and you understand that not everybody can go out and, and support a player, uh, but and we've got to be really grateful that that we're in that position and we, we've had the support that we can do it. So, Kev, tell us what can we expect from, from Danny in 2022? Well, Danny, young player, um, fullback or centre, and I think Christian Wolfs also mentioned the, the possibility of him playing a little bit of wing, um, scored a try in his debut for Widnes and made six appearances for Widnes uh, last season, I think it was. Um, and I was actually having a little look on YouTube at some of the highlights of him. There's some of him as a, as a young lad on the Witness Facebook page. Um, and his try on debut, it was really good on the shoulder, hunting the offload stuff. And it's it's like, it's only a little tiny bit of, of kind of what he can do. But all looks positive. Yeah, uh, that try on debut was actually voted the Vikings uh, April try of the month. For 2021, yeah. um, what are you saying about Christian Wolf? He's, he said he's a guy we've we've been really interested in, in taking on. Somebody we would see with enormous potential, and there was a lot of, uh, of other clubs who were actually interested in him. Uh, fullback is his position at the moment, but we see him as a guy with some physical attributes that can make him a first grade player in the future, and he could also transition and potentially play some centre or even some wing. Um, he's a bit like Jack Wellsby. Uh, in, in in what he has done, and we're very excited um, about how he develops in our system. So, like like Jack Wells became in and has played a number of positions over the years, hasn't he? Um, obviously, with Jack becoming our fullback uh, for twenty twenty two, there is going to be some of these utility roles, which some, a number of the young players in the squad are going to uh, fancy the chances at, at vying to get a crack at at some point. Yeah, definitely. I think it's it's important to say we're not we're not turning around and asking Danny to be the next Jack Wellsby. We're asking him to be the first Danny Hill. Um, but it's right that he, he may find himself. Well, Kev, if he gets I, him. I, I hate to say it, 
But he's already the second Danny Hill at the club. <laughs> yeah, we've got one in the scholarship. Yeah. As soon as I said that, I thought. But yeah, it, he might he might have to take his chance as Jack Wellsby has done, where you get a, a game or two on the wing, you get a game or two in the centres, a game at full back, and you kind of get moved about. You might end up being 17th man on the bench where you just asked to come on and, and do it like do a role. So again, having a look on uh, a quick Google search for him ended up on Witness's uh, fans forum. Uh, somebody was saying he'd been excellent for them um, in his limited opportunities. And I think it was, it's because his, his season came to a premature end because of injury. Um, but six appearances from for Witness scoring. Fans saying that, that he is a good player with a bright future. It's just it's part of what Saints do with with championship players, isn't it? We've got a history of bringing players through, giving them the tools, and letting them kind of build themselves up as players. Um, and hopefully, we can do that with Danny. Yeah, you're quite right there. We've we've done it in the last few years. Uh, Alex Walmsley's come from that route. Uh, Joe Batchelor has. Dan Norman, maybe the next one. Um, so. It's good to see that the club do utilise all of the all of these different types of conveyor belts, um, and obviously, the witness conveyor belt has been has given us a rich vein of player over the last few years. It certainly has, hasn't it? I mean, he was he was joint vice captain of witness under 16s as well. So again, that shows a little bit of leadership. Um, he's 2022. He was in the Lancashire under 18s. He got called up to the national performance squad. So, as you say, there's a conveyor belt there. We've had Mark Percival, we've had Lewis Dodd coming through. Widnesians, we've had Widnesians in the past turn out in the Red V. Um, hopefully, he can become one of the successful ones, like the aforementioned Percy and Lewis Dodd. It's interesting you mentioned there about the, the national performance squad. We were, we were talking um, a couple of days ago about Taylor Pemberton, and it seems like the club just don't focus on playing attributes. They look for players who are potential leaders as well and and standouts in it. And it's good that the club is seen as somewhere that players want to come to progress as well. Yeah, definitely. I think if you've got that environment, and so currently we've got a, a champion environment, um, we're, we're, we're winning trophies, but it's, it's champion, it's professional. Everything about it kind of shows itself as somewhere where people want to come and play rugby. We've got, yeah, we've got a style of rugby that, that's a winning style, a winning mentality there. Why wouldn't you, as a young lad like Danny is, coming from part-time at Witness, want to step back up into the full-time uh, realm? And as you say, other clubs were in for him. Why wouldn't you want to come and step that up and challenge yourself at the very top of that? Yeah, I think I, I think I think it shows. It actually shows uh, what type of lad Danny is. That yeah, listen, he's not moved too far down the road, but to turn around and go, I'm going to back myself to to start pushing and get into this first team squad at Saints. That's the thing to do. Yeah, and, and Danny himself has said on the move that he's looking forward to the new challenge of moving back into a full-time environment, learning off the best players in the league, which will help him improve his game. And, and that is going to be a, a really big step up, isn't it? Going from a part-time community club to, to a full-time Super League champion team. And it, it's only going to benefit his game, isn't it? Yeah, you'd think so. you think being around players with... I mean, you look at the likes of, say, him learning from Jack Wells being, and kind of getting all the... How Jack's put himself through the, the age groups and, and how he's coped with the expectation that's on his shoulders and how he will cope this season with the expectations. Learn off them. Learn off the likes of Johnny Lomax. Learn off the likes of James Roby, how he carries himself on and off the park. Learn your leadership from the, the likes of Alex Wormsley as well. Uh, see how, what it takes to come from a, a, a lower league club up to the top of the game. Um, it, it's the perfect opportunity for the lad. Finally, I think it, it must be said it's it's really good for us in terms of trying to once again to build our fan base in witnesses. Obviously, their local Super League club. Yeah, listen, I actually think that that 
I've been speaking to people, as everybody knows, I live in Witness now. I've been speaking to people around here, and there's been one or two who actually say they keep their eye on Saints a little bit more now. They're, they're, they're a bit disappointed that Witness are where they are. Um, so they, they keep their eye on the, the Super League club because obviously they hate Warrington. Um, and yeah, let's see if it brings some more. <laughs> and if it brings some more fans through the through the turnstiles or or gets them investing in the club in some way, then it's a good thing, isn't it? Absolutely. Keep flying the flag, Kev. <laughs> I will. Right. So uh, good luck to Danny uh, for 2022. Um, and we will keep our eye on him as he as he looks to progress um, in the St. Helens squad. So and again. Uh, I, I want to just reiterate the thanks to, to everybody uh, from our community who has, has allowed us to, to support the club and Danny in 2022. Yeah, completely agree with that, Dave. Right, Kev, back tomorrow? Why not? People will be bored us by the time the season starts. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, thanks to everyone for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we'll catch you tomorrow.